Who's with us today? Nicole. Nicole's here! Yay! And what are we gonna do here today, guys? Go take pictures. Take pictures. Take pictures. Take pictures. You want those sticks in the water? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna try to do some family portrait pictures. We don't have any of our family. Well, we have some of the hospital with Toby. We get some full ones. So we're driving around the park, the lake, looking. I think we're gonna go up to that that man's walking up there by that bench and try to look out across the water. And uh, so we're gonna do some family pictures. I those are pretty pick, uh, flowers. And then I'm gonna take some senior pictures of Nicole and then another YouTube family you guys might know is gonna come join us too and take some pictures of them. So, you found the flower? Yeah, so we're gonna have a fun day taking lots of pictures. We're having a hard time getting all the kids to cooperate with each other. <laughs> That's the shot we're doing here. I'll show you what it looks like in the camera if it shows up. Well, you can kind of see it there. But uh, I'll show you guys. Uh, I'll post all these on Facebook, I'm sure. So if you guys go to the link in the description below this video, you can see uh, the, the good ones. What? Hey! Hey! You got sticks. Why don't you go back over there so we can finish taking some pictures of you guys for my... Oh, here goes Mommy with Toby. Right there. Maybe we'll try some with her here also. Do you like taking pictures, Hannah? Mm -mm. I don't think so. Zeke, do you like taking pictures? <laughs> no. <laughs> They're not very... Uh... They don't stand still long enough to take some good pictures, so we gotta like quick stand still and like tell them to smile. Used to video and getting They're like, everything. we just wanna run around and play. There's so much to look at. I gave the kids their lunches and then they came straight back here. You guys like eating in the trunk of the car? That's silly, Hallie. What are they doing back there? Do you want me to shut it? No. How about I'll leave it open for you guys? You can sit back there and enjoy the breeze. Take your you can look out on the lake and enjoy your lunch. We're on our way over to meet Wolf Princess. If you guys remember her from like our YouTube uh, meetups and stuff here in Cincinnati. She let me borrow her GoPro while we were uh, down in Houston and uh, traveling. So uh, we're gonna meet her and give it back to her. Hannah and Zeke are being goofy. They'll go up the slide and then Hannah will slide down, knock over Zeke and Zeke will come down on top of her. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so we're waiting for a wolf to show up, but I think uh, I'm gonna go shoot this girl with a camera. <laughs> we just shoot uh, some senior pictures. So, um, but the sun came out. See what happens? I have a little photography tip. See, like, see the shadow now on the ground. Like, you don't want lots of shadows when you take pictures because then you get like harsh light like across your face. So this light side is probably really bright, and this side is probably really dark darker and then pictures like you just want even lighting you know and stuff like that so it's best to shoot when it's cloudy or if everything's in the shade like I could have her stained in the shade here and her face would be fine but then shooting with a bright background and her in the dark would make her not stand out very well so either everything needs to be shade or everything needs to be cloudy but having like shade and brightness and all that yeah you don't want all that they found us were we hiding here <laughs> Uh, so you want your camera back, huh? Yeah. I thought you thought was gonna happen with this deal. It's a little exchange right here. No. It's a shady drug deal. I mean, camera deal. <laughs> <laughs> I think we finally found the money place where we have just enough shadow with not a lot of bright sunlight and still a good scenery. I'm trying to get like that that waterfall right there in the background. Doesn't look as good as this camera because it's so wide. But that like uh, water path and then the tree. Got one more picture to take. These two before we go. Good job, Ezekiel. Toby. Hi, baby boy. Oh, good job, Zeke. Can you look at me, little guy? Oh, oh great picture. You are so good with him, Zeke. Oh, look, he's happy. He likes his big brother holding him. Oh, can you pull his hand down a little bit? Whoop. Zeke. <laughs> pull his hand down off of his face. Toby says, I'm trying to hide. Can you pull his hand down? There you go. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at oh good picture. Good job, to Zeke. We're done shooting all of our pictures, so I shot some of their family. Mm -hmm. You guys can have fun with those. I'll send them to you. And then ours will be on Facebook. I'll put a link to those in the description text below. You guys can check them out. And a link to their vlog channel. What is it? Wolf Princess 027? Yeah. Woohoo, I remembered it. So that's down there below as well. You guys do family vlogs like... Not every day, like every other day or something? Every week. Every week, okay. Every Friday. 
Every Friday. We're home and we're about to leave again. Dan, one thing that Dan and I have been wanting to do for a little while is learn to feel comfortable with guns. We don't have guns and uh, I didn't grow up handling them and neither did she. So we're going to go to a friend's house um, and he's got lots of guns. This is gun safety 101 right here. <laughs> is that how this works? In order yeah. to see if there's a bullet in there, you look straight down the <laughs> That is barrel. not what Brian taught us. <laughs> he's just cleaning it. So Dana's was looking for specks. There's your um, dirt. Uh, thumbnail right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's just looking to make sure that all the residue from like last time it was fired is cleaned out, which it is not. So Brian, this is our friend Brian. Hi Brian. Hello. He's gonna clean out all the extra residue from the um uh bullets, like the gunpowder residue and stuff so that it like it's all clean inside because he said that it would erode the inside of the barrel, make corrode. it weaker. Corrode. corrode. And um that's just bad. So Brian's also been teaching us about this one. Yes. And this one is like the normal like self-defense one. And the first thing you do. What's that? Is you check to see if there's a live round in there. Is and there? There is not. There is not a live round. But I do have the clip in there. But the clip is empty? The clip is empty. Yeah. And there's not a live Can I give you guys live rounds to play with yet? <laughs> yeah, no. no. I don't want <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> empty rounds and chambers is very good for us. Watch okay. This. So then you... I had to release the clip so to put this back down. Yep, so now it's... Uh, the safety is on because the S is there. Mm -hmm. But if I wanted to shoot it, if there was something in there... You'd take that off and then you would just... This thing is big for me. Yeah, you got little petite hands. I do. And then you would Where's just... my yellow flower I've been aiming at? <laughs> Poor little flower. <laughs> I guess I moved it. <laughs> <laughs> We've also been learning how to aim, and apparently Dana's way better at aiming than I am, because I'm like, both eyes work the same, and Dana has better eyes, I guess, or something like Which that. Which is weird, because you have the 2020 vision. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to freak you guys out, so why are we learning about guns? So we can safely learn how to handle one and protect our family. Yeah, we don't have any, but we figured we should just learn how to feel comfortable around them so that whenever happened to show up somewhere that we would at least know what to do and uh, not freak out and hurt anybody in the process, you know. Probably just a good all around general skill and knowledge to have just in case for any time. So that's why Brian's helping us out. So we've taken the gun completely apart, or Brian has, <laughs> and we've cleaned the barrel. Dana did a good job cleaning the barrel. You did too. And. So now we gotta learn how to put it back together again because it's well, we're not all done in pieces. See? Yeah. All clean. Good job, so, Dana. Got it all clean in there. Take and drop your barrel in. Make sure it's seated properly. It doesn't slide out anymore. Is that where no. it is? Not, not during this. Okay. So then you'll take... That's the rod that the... What's the top part called again? Upper. Oh, that is the top part. You have yes. it upside down. Never mind. Upper chamber. Upper receiver. Upper receiver. So we got everything set aside. What we're going to do is take a little bit of this. Is that lube? Yep. Grease or something? Yep. I'm just going to put a little dot right there. And a little dot right there. And you just take this piece right here. And push it in. And you're reassembled. Cool. Now it's all smooth and clean and ready to... Yeah. Now do you know how to unassemble it? Um, I think so. Um, I just play the video in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> now you're playing with the big guns, yeah, huh? The thing of it is, is where you're holding that. I'm not holding it correctly. No. The thing has like a red dot on it. It's kind of cool. I don't know if you really see it in there, but... It's like a red dot right in there. So what's the red dot up at the top? That is for close quarters. Shoot. I'm like... <laughs> And then when that kicks back, you don't get hit in the face? No, because you've got it on this right shoulder. But with your it. cheek right here? You'll feel some reverberation. Hold your face up. You'll feel vibration yeah. in your cheekbone right here okay. and a little bit in your chin. Once you get used to it. I'm just like, this thing looks like yeah. it would like go now, back If you've got cavities face. or something, it'll hurt. Like okay. teeth cavities? Yes. Oh. Because the vibration, it'll shake Ooh, the nerves and it irritates zing them. There. Hmm. That's <laughs> weird. I don't have any cavities, so I'm well, good. It's, it's just the, <laughs> the, it's the, it's the, the impact. Because what happens is when you fire, mm -hmm. this bolt slams back. Mm -hmm. There is a buffer in here. That's what this tube is. It's called mm -hmm. a buffer tube. 
with a spring. To get the impact. Oh, and it slams it. straight back to this. All the way back there? Yes, it just goes. Okay. So it absorbs some of the shock, but not yes. all of it. Yeah. I gotta work out more. <laughs> <laughs> this is the downside of trying to shoot on a tripod and then run back and forth with kids and everything. If you guys ever get a photographer, I definitely recommend that you like get someone who can do it. And this is what happens when you try to take it yourself. Like this would be a really nice picture, except for I can't. I don't know if you can tell or not, but we are out of focus. We're blurry. The the street is in focus. Uh, but the rest of us is not. I got all the, the camera set up and it's all ready to go. And then in the course of like the kids wandering off, we had to pull them back, you know, get them back again. And then they would like sit down and say, you know, all that stuff. And I think we all just ended up taking like two or three steps backwards and just enough to put us all out of focus. So, oh well. Just finished editing all the pictures. I'll show you guys some of my favorite ones here. Uh, this one I like of Toby Man. <laughs> He's like, hey, ladies. <laughs> That's what it looks like. I think that was a good one. Uh, and then I like these of, uh, of me and Dana. Uh, I think this one is the best one of us together. And I got a lot of Hallie. Like, she is just super excited <laughs> in every picture where she is in leaves. She just loves leaves and trees, apparently. And see that one, she's like, come on, dad, hurry up. <laughs> she's squatting. She is such a cute girl. And, oh, I took some of Nicole's. Oh, here's when we did the girls in the, uh, you know, whatever, in the road. And I took some senior pictures of Nicole. Some, uh, I did some for her here. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's Wolf and her family. I took a couple for them. So I sent those to the, let me see, I think a couple of these for Nicole turned out fairly well. I like how this one turned out, I think that one's kind of cool. And I also like how this one turned out, I think that one's pretty good also for her. Uh, oh, I love this one of Hannah and Zeke, they're just like, Hannah just gave them a big hug, they fell on each other, had a fun time. So, uh, and then Toby Man and Zeke are together, I think this one's my favorite of, the, of them together. And then I uh, took a couple more of Wolf and her uh, and Charles together, kind of just having fun, and I sent those to them. So anyway, like I said, links to the full, you know, on Facebook, all the pictures are below. If you want to go comment on them, check them out and things you can. But if not, no problem, just can give you a run through of what they are here too. So thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. It's been fun. It's late. We're going to go to sleep, and we will see you guys on Wednesday. Who's that, Hannah? Who is that? Does he sing music? What song does he sing? Uh -huh. So I was standing on a cliff thinking maybe I'd jump off. <gasps> Do you remember that song? And then, and then he, Hannah has a lot of questions about your music. So that's Chris. You said, remember in your our video, you said, I would like to have a chat with Chris. Do you remember that? <laughs>